you know, I thought I um, would update a new video and um, tell you my thoughts on this skateboard since I've owned it for nine months now. Um, I usually tend to ride it um, about two times a week now. Um, sometimes I do ride it seven times a week um, or I just joyride on it, but I do ride it to work still. Um, I do live 1.1 miles away from work, so just a hair over one mile to one way, one way to work is one mile, one way back is one mile. Um, um, let's see, the bat, I, I, these batteries are really sensitive. I've tried taking care of them the most I possibly could. Um, I've, I, when I first got it, it, this thing zipped. I mean, zipped. This thing, you hang on. I mean, the, the damn thing just felt like it was a jet ski on the land. It was just hang on. Um, as time went on, I kept it, you know, I'd ride it to work, um, keep on the charger at work, take off. And sometimes I'd ride it around to the point where it was pretty dead. And then I would instantly put it back on the charger once I got home. Um, as in, I would take off from my house, ride it around for couple miles come home charge it instantly and you know i did that a lot because that's what you're supposed to do with it it's a toy it's it is a toy and um and now you know it it can go um two miles comfortably two or three miles comfortably meaning you're not going to be um suffering for speed but after nine months of use um these um you can only, I mean, you can only go, feel comfortable on this for two or three miles after nine months of use. So after three miles um, of traveling on this, like when you first get it, you can ride this thing about 10 miles and then it starts slowing down and you want to go home and it's a blast. But when after about nine months, you're only going to get about two or three miles out of this before you need to go home and back to charge it for a couple hours. So right now I currently still ride it to work. I currently ride it back to work. I go home. I bring the charger with me. I go to work. I bring the charger with me. I, you know, I go back and forth and I charge it. Um, on my lunch, same thing. I go home on my lunch. I I charge it for an hour. I go to work. I charge it back for, up for another four hours. And I go home and it's always the light is always green. I mean, it's fully charged, but the battery is just you know three uh, three miles max. So you, I mean. You'll, you'll be able to ride it three miles and then it starts limping. And I mean limp. You'll be able to really crawl and that's about all they can do. So, and, and, and you know, I, I did honestly expect that. But just now that it has happened, it just sucks. And it doesn't need a new battery pack. However, you know, um, these, this, this, this skateboard is awesome. You know, um, puppies, come on. This, this skateboard is still awesome. And I would still recommend buying it just because the batteries are dead. It doesn't mean I can't replace them or, you know, get a new lithium ion. I still, I mean, um, I haven't done really anything to it. My major complaints are the screws is come undone by themselves. So, like, every now and then it does come with this, everything included to tighten this shit. But um, it does just loosen itself up by themselves. So, you know, just every, like right here, like I didn't, I did not do that. They just come, they just come up and you just screw them back down. And I don't, I can't tell you why. Maybe someone on, on can tell me how to fix that, but I don't know. It just does that. Um, let's see. I really don't have many complaints. I have gone off curves with this and I don't remember. Um, you know, when you're in a pinch and, you know, I get, I get really comfortable on this after, you know, nine months of owning it. And I have gone on the snow. Uh, I don't rec recommend it. It's fun, but I just feel like it's going to uh, hurt the electronics or the belt. I don't think this is all, you know, waterproof. So I don't think the belt is supposed to get wet. But I have gone on the snow f briefly, and it, it does okay. It is a little nerve-wracking, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not a professional <laughs> snowboarder or, or skateboarder or nothing like that. Um, so, I mean, I can't, I mean, I'm not trying to do tricks on this thing. I just like going max speed down the road, you know, and going to work and it's a blast still. And I still ride it around. The controller still works. I've dropped it a couple of times. My dog has gotten a hold of it. Look at those chew marks on there. Um, and, you know, and all in all, I would still recommend buying it just because of how fun it is still. I mean, I know I can change the battery packs out and I know I can do this, but I still don't just because I live so close to my job and I don't need to yet. Um, 
I haven't really taken it to the mountains and like done anything like that with it, like taking it to the hills. But I do, I want to say that this has opened up a window of mountain boarding in my life. Like I feel like I want to get a mountain board and, and go down slopes. So this is something, because I have always skated and longboarded all my life. Not very well, but I, I have skated around the, the boardwalk, around the beach and stuff. And then since I moved states, this is the reason why I got this, because where I live now, it's just the roads are terrible, and, and you can't skate with a normal skateboard where the roads are. So I got this, and I ended up falling in love with it. And it opened up a window where I really want to um, get a mountain board with full suspension and 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 keep this to go to work. But, I mean, it really, this, this has brought a new window in my life where I have never seen or experienced anything like this and it's really nice and so there i really recommend still buying it um the tires have worn down the back ones have worn down definitely a lot more um to the point where i mean they're really dull some of them are really dull this is nine months and i don't really like every now and then i'll get off it and, and let it do a burnout or something but not very rarely so i mean just to show you how much nine months the tires are really down um the board is cracking like throughout the the deck it's cracking but the manufacturer does sell replacements and it doesn't really worry me just because it's not like doing anything if that makes sense it's just like cracks you know so i don't like it's not like it's splitting it's just cracking and it's not really concerning because it's not breaking so i don't really care about it too much i just noticed it and the screws, the, the, what bugs me the most is the screws coming undone by themselves. I don't know what the hell that's about. Because once a week I have to tighten these down. And it's not really a big deal, but I just, why the hell is it doing that? I don't know. And, um, ugh, let's see. I've gone off curves with this thing. You know, I bang these motors around. That's something I really like. Uh, you know, and I don't really see too much on them. I mean, I've flown off curves and landed this thing right on these motors. And there's no damage, really. There's a very little but that shows you how well it is made because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, when I first got this, I was probably 190 and now I'm 230. I'm six, five or six foot six. So you can see how my weight fluctuates with my diet and exercise. But, um, um, I, I have flown off this and, you know, this weighs another 60 pounds or so. So that's a lot of weight landing on this one little fucking thing on the curb. And, you know, over 200, almost pushing 300 pounds landing on this. That's very impressive for the motor not to burn, break or, or fall off or, you know, break the welds or anything. It, it, it has lasted that. And, you know, there's no, really no structural damage on here. Cause I have, you know, I, um, I have had, I have done some really damage. This has almost gone through a door before because they're so heavy that's another thing with caught you got to take caution with this because it's such a heavy unit if you get off it and you start controlling it like it was an rc car and you give it too much gas and you end up hitting something it can really do damage it can break an ankle or it can go through a, a door or it can wreck a car i mean it's very dangerous because i had a friend got on get on this and she was just i mean oblivious to what she was doing i was trying to stop her and she ended up driving herself into a car and really hurting herself and i was parked and it was my car fortunately and did not hurt the car but she you know it, it bruised up her face and almost broke her nose and and it amazed me how much damage it could do because she was just sitting on it thinking it was like a toy but i mean this thing can really hurt you so just to take caution because i've had this for a while and i've i've hurt myself on it too much too and um i've flown off curves before you know sometimes you start going way too fast and you're you're going on these sidewalks and you don't notice these curves are dropping off and you're standing on this skateboard that's 50 or 60 pounds i forget but it's so damn heavy or 40 i don't know what this thing weighs but you're it's, it feels like you're surfing on a bag of concrete and so i mean when you're flying off a curb you're trying to nail that you know the landing I mean, it's just a curve, but damn, dude, it's just a whole different experience because it's just nothing you've ever been on. But, I mean, all that weight landing on stuff on the motors, I mean, it, it amazes me because I'm on the skateboard the entire time and I can hear the motor hitting the concrete, I mean, hard. And it just amazes me I'm still rolling with the blow, you know. And and that's something I really I give a shout-out to the skateboard because I've done that to it. And it just, you know stood up and 
the wheel, the bearing's still good, you know, they still spin for a while, they're not uh, clogged up or nothing, you know, I haven't done anything to them, and then they still, that's something that, you know, the back ones don't do that because they're on a belt, but, you know, uh, that's a very good bearing because, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's good, that's good. And the heat sink, I haven't had any issues. I mean, I run over, I live in Idaho where it gets very cold and very hot and just does everything where in, in between. And these wires are still great condition. Um, I've left it in the basement before. I left it outside overnight. I mean, this thing is they're very durable. Very, very durable. Um, very fun. Um, just the batteries. That's the only thing I have complaints with. But I, I knew that going into it. So... That's all. That's all I can really say about this. I'm 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 happy you guys uh, watched this. And to the guy that um, wants to know if you can take it on an airplane, um, pr this is practically a mobility scooter for like the handicap. That's what I get out of it. Like those motors and the batteries, um, the tires. They're very they're very similar to what a handicap person would use. Um, in a, like, in, in a mobility scooter with the, you know, you see the grocery store kind of, not the cart, but the mobility scooter. And that's what it really reminds me of. So if you want to take it on a skateboard, I would really def definitely call them and ask beforehand because this thing really is very heavy and, and you can't really pick it up off the ground completely. I mean, you can, but I mean, it's real. Like it's like you're moving a piece of furniture or something. So I mean, I when I move it around, when I go into my job, I lift up the front and I leave the back on the on the floor. So I lift it up like a dolly kind of, and I also keep it on and I slowly give it a little gas and I walk with it because that's how heavy it is. So if you want to take it on an airplane, be my guest. But um, I would definitely tell. I would I would just check it. I would I would call him and ask. So uh, good luck.